The Vanquish VRD, as awesome as this build was, the first drive, the second drive with these tires right here, now we get to try the brass. Let's get to the table, put them on, take it for a drive. Let's go. This is what comes on the vehicle, and it is perfectly fine. Plenty good enough. This right here is more gooder. <laughs> so, uh, very beefy piece in like all the right places. This right here, because it does come out into the wheel more, may actually interfere with some of your wheels, but uh, so be careful on your wheel. You may have to adjust it a little bit. As far as the back goes, right here, another beautiful piece, and the weight is all at the very bottom of the portal, exactly where it should be. Very Okay, the stock front weight comes in at 2.2 ounces. The new brass comes in at 4.4, so twice the weight. As far as the rear goes, well, that's your plastic piece, and there's virtually nothing there. And we've got 2.2. <laughs> so, yeah, this actually weighs the same as the stock front, but they are, are not interchangeable. I got to try this. And honestly, I should have did this before I did all that, but uh, let me see. 63 front, 37 rear. Perfect 50 50, 1935 grams, maybe. But regardless, uh, 6337 as it sits right there. Hold on for a second. Yeah, that's the pro. Let's see where we're at here 66, 34, 52, 48. A little bit heavier. I, I, I had to. <laughs> And here we go. We are ready. Got an 850 milliamp 3S on this one. So a little bit lighter than what I've been running in the chassis. Fusion 2300 KV Pro. RC8X. Brass 500. Trenchers. Uh, we are ready to go. Let's go see what this has got. The new body is supposed to come in today. So hopefully on the next video, we'll actually have the proper one. All righty. Let's get this going. Now, when it comes to brass on these things, it's a tuning thing. A lot of times you'll only see like a huge difference when you go extreme one way or the other. All right, now I added some to the front and the back on this and it walked that pretty darn well, but brass is a tuning thing. So it's not a cure for, you know, uh, flaws or bad driving but it's mainly for tuning and man i tell you what when you get these things tuned right they are truly amazing you get that brass down low not only is it a benefit on side hills it's a benefit on climbs and just overall stability altogether. now this is going to be a pretty crazy test right here Trying to pull the side right here. This will be interesting if it can stick it. I'd be real surprised. Oh, the back end fell down, which is actually perfect. So this is where having that extra low end weight can really make a difference here. Let me see here. All right, so the back actually dropped down into position perfectly that was gorgeous that was absolutely flawless wow now let's see if that brass makes a difference here because if you recall i tried to get the front to set on this and i could not get it i had to get over to the left let's see if that front can set on this and actually pull then you're absolutely seeing a difference in the brass and that's exactly what we're seeing I could not get that before could not get up into this position before now is it gonna finish this probably not because that is pretty darn wild but I'm gonna give it a shot if it makes it up this right here this is a first for the exoplex I want to make sure I get as much momentum Get that mass of the brass, get the mass of the brass <laughs> forward and maybe, maybe I can get that back end up. See, in this situation, and I know I'm running my mouth, I should be driving, but having the brass on the back could actually hurt in this particular situation. Let's try it. Dude, that was, 
That was not too far off. I think maybe if I give it a little bit more throttle, I want to try it again. That front end almost tagged and got that, didn't it? And I'm kind of getting back a little bit here so I can get a better shot in case this thing flies. Look at that, just got it twice. Now this time I'm gonna start from right here. Holy moly guacamole. Let me show you exactly where I went up. I went up the steep spot. This is the part I typically drop down. Whew. Man, we may have a new king. This thing is amazing. Holy cow, I, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes things happen and make you go, huh, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, okay. Let me go find something else. That was awesome. Okay. Uh, let the festivities continue. <laughs> uh, we got climb time here. Take it up the, you know, I should have mentioned that these tires actually have Yizzer inserts in them, by the way. I don't know that that'll make a difference on jumps like what I just did, but golly, golly. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and see if we can get cliffhanger. Uh, was unable to one-shot cliffhanger before, so we'll see if we can one-shot it this time. I get that front over there. Beautiful. Oh, a little bit close to the edge, but that might work out good for me there. Uh, get that overdrive, underdrive all to work for me. Looking pretty good. When you one shot this, you're always right on the edge. So let's see if I can on the edge get this. The front has to pull up and the back has to kind of rotate down and oh this is a close one i think we got it though did it one shotted done as soon as that front right or the front left tire settles down done god this thing's nice got crack of doom uh, this did one shot crack of doom before so you gotta make sure that your mods work everywhere. So as long as the mods work everywhere, I think we're gonna be good here. All right, looks like we got a nice hook right there. That was me on the steering thing. Back end is coming up a little bit high, but let's see how this settles. As long as that front stays in there like we've seen, I don't know how many times before on this channel, how many times have you seen it? This one's done. All right, so I'm going to try to bring it up the hard way out. And that's gonna be up the wall, the brick wall. For some reason, bricks don't have a lot of traction. Look at that. That is, Vanquish really outdid themselves on this thing, didn't they? And they really outdid themselves. See if we got the traction to make this pull here. Up, up. Up, up. We might not have the grip to get this one. There we go. I was a little bit worried on that one, but it got it. Let's go and see what we can do with Crowley. Uh, let's see if it got better or worse or what here. All right, so we're getting up into it like this. I'd like to get up it more the normal way other vehicles go, but it doesn't look like it wants to go that way. It wants to go its own way.
which is this way right here. Man, guys, this thing, it was so steep and so stable. That's, that's, that's awesome. That was, uh, that was amazing. How much juice we got left? 11.8 volts. On the RC8X, you can see the, get that to focus. You can see your battery voltage right there. So, nice thing when you're competing with a tiny battery, right? You know, guys, um, I don't know what to say other than this thing is awesome. So, now that I've had some drive time with it, I think it's time that I set up and do the VRD versus the Pro. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. So, they will run the same tires, same wheels. So, that variable will, will be not will not be a factor so uh that's gonna be coming up soon but guys hopefully you enjoy the video the vrd is incredible there you go guys have a great day and um check that description use those links hit that subscribe ring that bell yeah see you soon guys you made it to the end this is awesome thank you so much you guys make it to the end of the video it means so much to me uh, I mean, for real, consider joining, becoming a member for just $2 a month. That's the cheapest way to go. In the description are affiliate links, A, B, and E, B, Amazon. You guys know all the, all the stuff on that. Um, but yeah, guys, it means a lot that you're here and you're listening to this right now. And I want you to have a great day.